You already know that eating pizza and sweets and that kind of stuff, it increases your risk for heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and some cancers. But this might surprise you. Doctors at Cone Health say chronic diseases impact millions of Americans, and poor nutrition is the leading cause of death globally. WF News 2's Hunter Funk spoke with a specialist in Reedsville who says a change in lifestyle can reverse the statistics. Hey, Mr. Todd, how are you this morning? I'm doing very well, thank well, you. Well, good. Sitting in the doctor's office is a familiar sight for Jonathan Todd. That had been uh, over 10 years that I've been on medication and type 2 diabetes and seeing the numbers just every year get a little bit higher and a little bit higher. But after being told he would need to add more medication to what was already a long list of prescriptions for diabetes, Jonathan Todd came to see doctor and cone health physician Gov Renita. We can't fix it in five minutes or seven minutes, but if you equip the patients with that resources and tools, they can manage it in the house. Dr. Nita specializes in lifestyle medicine. He empowers people to make lifestyle changes. Nita says instead of adding medication, he works with people to make changes in their diets. Things like decreasing fried foods, fast foods, sweets or processed food, and increase fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, and other whole foods. Eat food, not food-like objects. Pizza is not food, burger is not food, mostly plants. Not too much. Refill for every day. It's these nutrition changes that Jonathan made to his diet, and in three months, it's reversing his diabetes. It works. Dr. Nita says every third patient he sees, they're coming back with success, including weight loss, reversing diabetes, and he is de-prescribing medication. I kind of get excited because that's where I can impact the most. Fewer medications, fewer doctor visits, and side effects like numbness in his hands and feet have all gone away for Jonathan. He says it's also giving him energy to keep up with his family. Since I've got a two and a half year old grandson, you know, uh, that, that likes to play with pop and all that, that's important. <laughs>